Fala aí, galera Night Wolf aí, mais uma vez com vocês, voltamos aqui com Pilers of Eternity. Bora continuar, mano. Troll irrit... Um troll! Oxi! <risos> Determinação 2000, cara. Ô, oh, louco! Determinação, efeito hostil, deflexão e will. É. Boa. Isso aqui é o que? É uma pira? Aqui vai ser hard, galera? Eu não sei, mano. Eu não me recordo. O Constantin tá nível 16, cara. E o pessoal nível 19. Por que será, né? É um bug? Eita, eita. Extinguished or crushed. As all. Servants of the Defiler God. Damn you. Damned Reaper of Souls and God of Lies. Magran's most foul enemy. Machu. Right good action you did there, Cap. Bora. Uh, no any good uh, drinking songs? Kith Before you char her bones to dust. O Deus naquela estátua pediu que eu me encontrasse com ele aqui. Eu vim para falar com ele. You must possess an unfathomable power to have kindled the interest of such a giant. Yet you imply you do not serve him. Rakir, move! We cannot allow these intruders to live. É... Eotas consumiu as almas de seus guerreiros, mas eu já o enfrentei antes e aqui estou. <risos> Ela leva uma mão para frente para impedir a investida da guerreira. Ele, né? Uh, ele te observa atentamente. We have not yet defeated the embodied god, but that does not mean we won't. The Jotiger is readying another assault from within the Jagged Keep as we speak. Bator, equivalente a um senhor da guerra. O título é entregue aos mais habilidosos guerreiros entre os Hatuns. É uma posição merecida através do combate. Da hora. I will permit you to stamp closer to God's face if you believe you can survive. Scurry deeper into the moor. But know that my brethren may squash you. First, we recover the wounded and their weapons. Drag them into the jagged keep. And then, we will kill a god. Our duty is foremost to Margaret. We guard the more to its fiery end. All who neared the intruder god were gutted until extinguished. You think your soul could last even half so long as Rathoon's? Maybe the Kiths will last longer. Only Margren's shrine with our jagged keep can lead you to the Defiler God. Kith, if Margren wishes you to face him, surely she will fire the way. Legal, a gente não combateu, mano. Da hora. Não, não. It can't be helped. Quase que eu roubei sem querer, cara. Pra cá. Oh, pera aí, não é ali? Ah, é ali. Mas e aqui? Olá, 
coming. What a glorious hole. in slumber, I say. We should not be here. A mão dele, que muito louco! Ah lá, galera. Espetacular, né? Olha. Bate um print. Muito louco, mano. Já invocou? Caramba, rápido, hein? Essa magia é boa, hein, pessoal? Essa magia aqui, meu amigo. A imune é dano de fogo, né? Aqui, aqui vai ser raio e gelo, hein? Te quero aqui vai brilhar. <risos> né? Olha o esqueletinho, olha lá, olha lá. <risos> que porcaria. Muito fraco, mano. Olha essa magia, galera. Olha isso. Olha que roubo. Mano, forte demais essa magia. Covil da anciã. Vem pra cá primeiro, então. Eu adoro a voz do Constantine nesse jogo. Não, essa não, essa não, Knight. Oh, oh, caramba. Só isso, mano? Bem, vai ser bem tranquilo então, né? Constantin? Por que, que ele... Ah, essa aqui precisa de sete, né? É isso? Sim. Onde que eu vejo a marcação? Tem quatro. Eu quero ver. Boa essa magia também, hein? E não pega no aliado. Olha só. Toma. It is not just the mountain that awakens. We disturb the fires of herself. Oh, I think that were a person, Ken. Hum, eu tô achando que é, viu? Você é uma grande campeã, uma Golias entre gigantes, seu peito estufado de orgulho e agora algo escuro, uma estranha sensação de medo. É, ela dança dentro de você como as chamas de uma forja, pois você sabe que em breve você também será tomado pela raiva enquanto olha a figura distante do deus, o violador que seus irmãos e irmãs morreram para derrotar, porém não foram capazes, é, e que agora se alimenta de Adra, planejando contra Magran.
alta sacerdotisa, assiste ao seu lado. Ela é feroz e saberá o que fazer. Ela pode ouvir Magrã por dentro, por dentre as chamas. Sem mais delongas, ela te apressa até o covil do dragão. É um dragão mesmo. Pronto. Pera aí. Of course. Bem louco, hein? Oh, Margaret's fiery flaps. That be a flogging dragon, that be. Uma criatura de fumaça, escamas, brasas e garras sai da escuridão. As costas uh, e a costela brilham vividamente, tão vermelhas quanto ao lago de fogo aos pés dela. Ela sibila. O som é como duas pedras rangendo na garganta. Embora os lábios dela não formem palavra alguma, você compreende. Who comes now to stoke the flames of chaos further? Have I not yet feasted enough? I suppose I can make room for another. Uh, don't let this be fool on your lass. Ain't nothing but uh, fur and bones. <risos> Peraí, os ratuns invocaram você. Então você os atacou? We struck a deal. Eons ago. I did with a wily Brenthis. It's true these Rathun fed me exquisitely for so long. But today they sought my wings like a firestorm to battle, my fangs like hot spears to pierce a god. I am the heart of the fire. I cannot be controlled. Not by a giant Determinação. Qual era a natureza do seu acordo com eles? Você certamente é vaidosa. Nisso eu tenho que concordar. Ataque. The Rathun would pay their tributes of flesh and blood, fire and gold. And I, when called upon, would fight fiercely at their side. That arrogant priestess thought to ride me, the magma that fires the mountain. She Strathun forged their deal when I was but a hatchling. Now no one controls me, and I would never fight a god for fools. Hmm. Must all dragons of the archipelago shackle themselves to someone else's cause? You are a creature most amusing. Perhaps I shall yet allow you to live. Preciso encontrar eotas nas profundezas da mandíbula. You think to ride me, the great firestorm in the moor, to meet a blustering god? If the Rathun could not tame me, why should a little wretch like you fare better? Não era exatamente o que eu tinha em mente, mas agora que você mencionou isso, você sabe de um caminho físico para os níveis é, mais abaixo da mandíbula ou não? I shall tell you this much, if only to keep you from my wings. Your path to Aethus lies through Margren. Through her shrine within the Rathun's keep. Igniting Margren's shrine lowers it into the moor, so that a Brenthus Pera. may worship before the Ardra Pillar. See? Magran faria qualquer coisa para impedir Eota. Se ela fizer esse vulcão entrar em erupção, você será destruída com ele. Eu acho que isso aqui é bom, hein? Should I believe? The wretched words of a trespasser in my den. Even were it so, the fire feeds me, 
Acredite em mim, dragão. Eu não mentiria sobre um assunto como esse. Bem, parece que ela vai ajudar a gente, né? Alguma coisa assim, mano. Ah, essa conquista aqui eu já tinha pegado. Legal. Ô, oh, louco! Um sabre não é tão bom. Mais 5% de dano para ataques armados feitos em furtividade. Ah. Cura. Tirar o colar das mãos da sacerdotisa. Hum. Eita, é um item de missão. Bem. Bora, né? Aqui pode pegar. O oh, louco, mais 5 de força e mais 2 de penetração. Caramba, esse aqui é muito bom. Pra quem? Só pra ele, mano. Aí não dá. <risos> e essa aqui? Fogo fato. Essa aqui cura. Será que é boa? Ah, eu posso upar isso aqui? Opa. Tá, o que, que o dragão vai fazer, hein? Be building our huge fucking fortress inside a volcano. Right, fine plan. Scurriers in my keep. Make ready Mostre to be crushed by the pyramid of Eothas. You felled her and her dragon. Não, foi o dragão quem a matou. Then the Bathor will decide your fate. Ah, legal. Não combati, mano. Can we not reason with the gigantic flaming marauders? Galera, olha isso aqui. Olha o tanto, mano. Se batalhar aqui. Hum. We stare down the open jaws of Tongaloa. Captain, it has been Kith. an honor. How is it you have come to be here? Nay, it is of little matter. Your words hold no weight, Kith. Não tenho nada contra você, Bator. Estou aqui para falar com Eotas. Espera aí. Esse aqui. Eotas deserves death, not words. The defiler god has brought war to ash and more in revenge against Margaret and her Athun. What is your relation to Eotas if not to act with him against Margaret? Berar quer que eu intervenha com relação a Eotas. Aquele desgraçado me traiu. Não. Eu não poderia me importar menos se Eotas matasse cada um de vocês. Não, também. The shrine will lower us to the sacred Ardra pillar, where the embodied god now gluts himself. Deixe-me passar. Eu vou falar com Eotas e convencê-lo é, a deixar esse lugar. Even if I believed you, I cannot do such a thing. 
Okay. We guard the sacred depths of the mall. None may freely enter. Thus the shrine lies dormant, locked without the talk of Bethacton. Our high priestess, the Brenthis is the talk's rightful bearer, but she has yet to Eu return to the keep. I heard shouts of your triumph preceding you. It would seem you are unparalleled among your kind. You are without the Brenthis, so I must assume she has returned to the Ever Flame. What became of the Ancient? Draw the Fairless. Triumph will be nigh impossible without her. This one be all yours, Cap. <laughs> you will answer me, Kith, without trickery or lies. O dragão abandonou vocês. Indeed. I feared the worst when the Brenthis failed to return with the beast. We've no choice. Despite the odds, we'll attack without either strength. If this is to be our last stand, we must prepare ourselves, either for victory or for sacrifice. Lest Margaret forsake us for our failures. You've earned the right to fire shrine with the talk of the other flame. But we cannot join you as yet in facing the defiler. O oh, legal é que eu fiz diferente da, da última gameplay que eu joguei, mano. Porque eu matei todo mundo, eu lembro. Matei todo mundo. Cara, que da hora, hein? Tá. É... Isso aqui é o quê? Ah, é aqui, né? Durante o tempo de um único suspiro, tudo fica em silêncio. Os ratuns atrás de você desapareceram. Não, desaparecem. Chamas ao seu redor cintilam cada vez mais alto, dançando sem nenhum som. Mas o calor é voraz, ardendo em sua pele. É, então ouve-se um ruído de metal quando a estátua de Magran inclina a cabeça para frente em saudação. Water. Opa! O tempo não permite para nicidades. Mesmo agora, Aethys ganha força da espira. Que progresso você tem para Then they will burn to ash and return to the mud kiln from whence they came. Caramba. Presently I shall erupt this volcano and with it consume Aethys. I suggest you retreat if you at all value your mortal form. I can give you only the moments more it takes me to fully fire the depths of this maw. After that I will not stay the assault. Even for you. Fare thee on, Watcher. My condolences, should you die. Interaja com o santuário? É, os braseiros de cada lado do altar queimam em vida. As brasas encandecidas são jogadas para cima antes de ficarem estáveis. A lava começa a surgir por entre as grades de metal no chão, é, aquecendo a sola de seus pés, enquanto a estátua parece ter se despertado. E o metal range assim que o santuário se move. Bem louco, né? A estátua de Magran se eleva acima de você com os olhos flamejantes e os punhos segurando os instrumentos de guerra dela. Na base da estátua, é um retangular altar com as bordas de ferro se assenta entre dois braseiros. No centro do altar, o colar de Bitatin queima em uma oferenda para Magran. É, a estátua de Magran se eleva acima de você. A estátua mostra a deusa ensanguentada e preparada para a batalha com a espada e o escudo. Na base da estátua, um altar retangular com bordas de ferro se assenta entre dois braseiros. Ué, de novo? Ué? Não consigo, galera. Ué? Ah... Ah lá! <risos> que jogo louco, mano. Tá, vamos lá. Mano, eu não batalhei com ninguém. Eu sou um merda, né, cara? Oi, ele be big from down here too. 
Muito louco, hein? Watcher, I wasn't sure you'd make it. But there is enough of you in me to grasp that you had a better chance than most. Some would say it's because you have a strong soul. Great deeds come easily to one so spiritually blessed. Or have you become great because of what has been thrust upon you, Watcher of Cadnua, Herald of Bereth, Hound of Aethys? Eu não sei, independente da razão, eu vou continuar firme. Isso é minha alma. Não, isso está na minha alma. Sempre esteve. A grandeza é meu direito de nascença. Cada um de nós faz o melhor que pode. Minhas provações fizeram de mim quem eu sou. Já chega disso tudo eu te seguir é, até esse maldito vulcão para conseguir algumas respostas. You have done much in this life. It's true. But if it weren't for your past with Theos, with Eovara, you never would have come down this path. But you have come a great distance for answers. What would you ask of me, Watcher? Preciso saber por que você voltou. Você pode pagar por todos os danos que causou? You need to know, or Bereth, or the gods. It seems the gods may have something catastrophic in mind for me. Eu não saberia. Magran está preparada para tomar medidas drásticas para deter você. Magran fears what I will do, just as she feared what I would do in the Deerwood. But this time, there is no power on Eora or in all of Hell to stop me. Caramba! Understand that what I'm saying is neither a boast. Nor a challenge. It is the clearest statement of truth I can give you, give Bereth, in the hopes of dissuading you from taking actions that may harm others. O que você vai fazer? Uh, diz aquele que matou milhares de andarilhos que iam do bosque de ir para fogo morto. That may be why you have come. But you may change your mind when you hear what I have to say. I am going to force gods and mortals alike to open their eyes to one another. And all the powers of hell cannot drive me from this course. It seems my sister does not like the sound of that. I want to return the gods to our original purpose. And to allow mortals to worship us, or ignore us, for what we are, not what we pretend to be. Caramba. When I entered Widwin, I did so with the intention of illuminating the history of Angwith. I wanted to show all the nations of the Eastern Reach the machines we had used to create ourselves. How we had hidden our true nature from mortals for millennia. But even if I had succeeded, my words would have been easy to deny. Belief creates the foundation upon which a mind's reality is built. Some minds can never let go of that foundation. They would rather hold tight to the world in their mind than accept what they're being told. Se é assim o que você está fazendo dessa vez, uh, que irá fazer qualquer diferença. É porque é tão importante que os mortais saibam que os deuses vieram dos Eugitanos. É, e mesmo suas palavras poderiam ser corrompidas pela chave plumbia e pela mão oculta. We began with a dream that if we provided guidance to mortals, each generation of souls would grow stronger. And if the souls grew stronger, societies would become better. Moving ever closer to achieving the potential we believed all mortals have within them. Over 2,000 years have passed. Hundreds of generations have been born, lived, and died. If the world has improved under our guidance, mortals should be prepared to understand the truth. If they have not improved after all of this time, then we have utterly failed in our aims. And there should be a reckoning of our faults. The time has come for a new covenant between gods and mortals. One forged in the light of truth and understanding between our kind. 
I will leave this place and go to the lost city the Huana call Ukaizo. It is there that all souls pass through the machines of the gods, where all souls pass into the beyond before beginning their next life. When I reach that place, I will find our great machines and tear them to pieces. I will smash Caramba. the great wheel until the lights of hell all gutter and die. And when my work is done, I will leave this world forever. O quê? <risos> Isso é loucura. Espero que Magran exploda dois vulcões em você só por precaução. Caramba! Both gods and mortals alike rely on the wheel. We depend on it for the souls that give us power. Mortals depend on it for the lives of future generations. Breaking it will force all of us to face the truth. We will fail together or move forward together. Either ending is preferable to the cycle we still find ourselves in. Once again, the gods have put you in a precarious position, Watcher. Considering all the troubles I have put you through, the least I can do is protect you from the wrath Magrin has intended for me. Pera. Revire os olhos. <laughs> uh... Obrigado. Don't thank me yet. This will be particularly difficult for you, Watcher. Aethys's great hand floats away from the luminous Audra pillar. Ah, que bem louco. As it pulls back, for a brief moment you see a golden tether flash into existence between the pillar and the great titan's back. When the Audra fingers gently cradle you, there is first a sensation of warmth, but it is followed by a harsh splitting of consciousness. Your awareness vacillates erratically between the physical world and the spiritual dimension of Aethys' body. Your soul glides amid the many trapped with Aethys. As your brilliant form passes by them, they call and reach out for help. Below Aethys' body, the volcano erupts. Molten rock rushes over the great Audra body, but does not slow its movement. Rathun rushed to higher ground, but cannot outpace the lava which overwhelms and consumes them as it rises. Your attention returns to the heart of Aethys' body. Deep within the whirling masses of souls, you again sense your own presence, the fragment that was taken from you. This time, you reach out to it as it reaches out to you. You meet somewhere in the great mass of Audra, the rest of the souls fading at the edge of your awareness. We are together again. Are you ready to be together again? Are you certain? Since we've parted, you've become someone else, and I have become myself. When we join, we won't be ourselves anymore. Your senses yank back to your body, still in Aethys's hand. There is light, sunlight, he has emerged from Ashen Ma, the rim of the volcano and the great keep of the Rathun collapsing behind him. The Audra is barely visible through the thick lava covering his body, and still, he moves. The ocean is gone, water sucked away, leaving only the bare seabed glistening in an ominous silence. You summon the strength to turn your head. Through the cracks in the great god's fingers, you see a wall of water, taller than Nekataka, taller than Aethys, as tall as the moon. It comes with the rumbling of a terrible stampede. The wave slams into Aethys. His hand closes, protecting you from the devastation. Somewhere in your mind, you hear Andra screaming. You are back inside him, back with yourself. Are you still the same Watcher who returned the lost souls of the Deerwood to their intended bodies? A light shines within the soul as it observes you, waiting. I am. 
Ahn, uh, eu sou. Eu vou fazer tudo o que puder para salvar aquelas pobres almas antes que eu morra. Pera aí. Good. Then this should be easy. You feel cool air, seawater. The back of your mind pulls your attention back to your body. Aethys stands amid the now calm waves. Kraken futilely clinging to his limbs as he gingerly sets down your ship with one hand. He carefully opens his other, setting your body on the deck. As your head comes to rest, your vision rocks forward, pulled back into the Audra, back to your soul. Some of us is lost to him. Fragments and the empty spaces between them. They will always be a part of him. But we are still us. And it's time for us to go. Together. The soul rushes toward you, flying into you with ferocious speed. You are thrust back through the Audra, out of the palm of Aethys' hand, back into your body. You can feel the sensation of your skin, the warmth of the Audra, but you are not fully in control. The other soul struggles to reach the surface of the body's consciousness, but you pull it down. Entangled, you float in a dark, boundless expanse. The more you fight each other, the closer you become, until somehow, impossibly, every piece of you is touching every piece of them. Through the distant window of your eyes, You see Aethys push slowly against your ship. Though his touch is light, it is still the touch of a god. The ship lurches, rapidly tearing across the water southward. His hand pulls away from your ship's wake, his body straightening, towering overhead. The volcanic rock, now cooled and gently steaming, sloughs from his body as he moves. The Audra beneath is still immaculate, unmarred. He watches you depart, and you hear a voice in your mind as you sink deeper into the blackness of sleep. Tell them what you have witnessed, Watcher. Tell them what is coming. The windows of your eyes retreat into the distance. The fragment of your soul is so close to you in the darkness that you can't tell if its thoughts are separate from your own. Aethys is going to Ukaizo? He's going to stop the wheel? Aethys is going to Ukaizo. Aethys is going to Ukaizo. The words repeat in your mind until they become an incessant, meaningless mantra. Involuntary meditation in the emptiness of your unconscious. When the words finally dissolve and become part of the darkness, you see a pinpoint of light. You no longer sense the other soul, no longer sense the person you were before Aethys touched you. You swim toward the light. As you come closer, the light becomes two blurry spots of radiance. You settle in behind your eyes, and feel your lips already moving, mumbling. Around your body you sense familiar scents and sounds, voices raised in shock and alarm. You take control of your mouth, opening it wide and drawing a great breath. Tá aí, mano. Are we simply going to wait? What if she never wakes up? Are those frilled collars stuffed in your ears? If the Watcher's mumblings are right, then Aethys is marching on Ukaizo. We have to move. He's seizing power from the very gods who betrayed him. Destroying the wheel to make sure they never come back. It's a coup, and we have to muster the strength to stop it. The unraveling of Kohopa from Tangaloa is our greatest test from the gods, I say. We must live to deserve the world they make for us. Por que estão todos aqui? Ah, you're, you're awake. Welcome back, Watcher. Your uh, arrival in the wake of the eruption at Magrin's teeth was, was 
uh, alarming. You shared a great deal while you were asleep. We aren't sure what to make of it. I will choose our next voyage, Shakira. No more volcanoes. Join our talks, I say. Rational discussion will gust away the ominous smoke rising from Ashen Maw. The dead fire is no stranger to cataclysm. We can survive by cleaving to a shared purpose. A greater good, Akira. For what else did the gods place us here? We who have ships and resources enough to make a difference. What we need is brass. Rawatai has ships and cannons aplenty, but the only way I'm sending them is if... Ships have formed the blockade around Queen's birth. Their commander demands parley with Serpent's Crown. What? But, but what about our ships? I must get a message through to the captains. For what do our enemies paint a target on their hull? This is a stirring bid for my attention. Send word to my water shapers to drain the sea around the flagship. I would parley on better terms than this. My queen! They fly the colors of pirates! The Principi are... Well, what have we here? Olha quem tá aqui. <laughs> Mano. Forgive me, Lovesome. But it looks like you're having a party. A rather fine one to which you didn't invite me. You painted vagrants are a plague on my tribes. Why should I not hang you from the walls of my garden? You should be asking yourself how they got in here in the first place. Oh, I do love when they squabble. But I'm here for neither pleasantries nor entertainment. We've bigger fish to fry. Or should I say gods? Now everyone just calm down. I promise we won't fire on you at this time. Unless firstly provoked. That is... Until whence we've safely absconded from the city back to the high seas. Then all bets are off again, aye? Yes, well, if you have a point, pirate, I suggest you reach it quickly. We're supposed to take a bunch of pirates at their word? Right you are. However, I'm here because I've got questions, ones that can't wait. And the lovesome watchers, the only one likely to answer them nicely. Se nós quisermos chegar é, em Ukais, vamos precisar de todos os navios à nossa disposição. Todos nós precisamos nos preparar para o inevitável, mesmo se cooperarmos e Otas vence. Do you think so little of our chances? The Juana are built to outlast, I say. Dead Fire's last cataclysm stripped the tribes of Ukaizo. This one will bring it back to us. All of this is meant to be. Ukaizo? What's the lost city of gold got to do with the god on a rampage? Eotas está indo lá para quebrar o ciclo de reencarnação. Eotas vai destruir toda a vida e morte enquanto o resto de vocês discutem os direitos territoriais. Hum... Well, fuck, if that doesn't put things into perspective. But what's that even mean in the long run? Folks who die won't be coming back again. Suas almas ficarão presas para sempre no entre mundos. Talvez não a princípio, mas eventualmente é hora será exaurido de toda a vida. Você não pode se atrasar e esperar que eu te explique tudo. This is all dark and foreboding sounding. But what's it mean for my soul? I mean, I like the idea of pirating throughout the great beyond as much as the next gal. But if say I got no awareness after I die, does it even matter what happens? Ak, of course you have no interest past that of your eyes and your stomach. Let us speak now of what can be done. Must be done. Watcher, you know best of all of us what our options are. Pera. If he's heading to Okaizo, then the time for speeches is over. We have to act quickly. Defending Okaizo is the highest priority. 
Our ships are fast and well equipped. We could sail to the edge of Andra's mortar. See if Aethys' passage opens a way through the storms. Of course, finding Ukaizo once we're through is another matter. Pera, se conseguir me fazer passar pela tormenta de Ondra, eu posso te levar ao Kaizo. Pera, pera aí, boa sorte. Esse aqui, ó. That's so. You just might be able to save us. We speak of collectively sailing for Andra's mortar, but this crown will not support any plan that involves a single outsider ship landing on the shores of Ukaizo. It is for this moment that the gods test me. Anyone who seeks to cross Andra's mortar will learn that the gates of Ukaizo are the end of compromise with the Juana. Será que poderíamos ter uma trégua enquanto trabalhamos para resolver essa crise? Porque ela não quer, né? Ela não quer cooperação, mano. E agora? I don't mean to let Aethys end us while we bicker. But the fate of Ukaizo is not exclusively a Juana concern. I think I'm getting the gist of it now. While these witless princocks go at each other's throats, we Principi will cut through the storms and plunder the city of gold. Vish. Whatever Aeothus is seeking in those ruins, we'll find it. And then we'll sell it to the highest bidder. That, or me and mine will have front row seats to the end of the world. Burrice, né? If the Juana cannot take back our beginning, then our end fast approaches. The gods will judge us by our devotion to Ukaizo. Are you going to guard it as closely as you've guarded your palace today? Ukaizo was yours once, and you lost it. Meanwhile, the storms that cover Andra's mortar plague Rauatai too. We will help the Watchers stop Aethys, but we will not leave our country's future in soft hands. We hope the Watcher agrees. Watcher, there are two kinds of people in the Deadfire. Those who have called it home since time immemorial. Também. And opportunists. With Ukaizo under our control, the Juana would restore order as it has not been seen since the days of our ancestors. Ak, order. And the only question is whether it will be the order of ignorance and tradition or else of conquest. Ai, agora ferrou, né? Os Vailiano... Companhia Real do Fogo Morto e os Príncipe. The secret to be found in Ukaizo could elevate us all beyond the telling. I will not relinquish that dream so easily. Watcher, I say the time to play at freelancing is at an end. Any of us could get you to Ukaizo, but only one of us will stand by your side. Let's speak, Watcher, while we have the chance. Ah, então tem escolha ainda, mas espera aí, as missões ainda tá aqui, né? Tá. Caramba, hein, que loucura, galera. Moleque. I say it is not every day that a ship pulls into port for Margarine's teeth. <laughs> Our enemies scramble for Kaizo, dropping all pretense of strategy in their panic and haste. Lembrando que se a gente ficar do lado da rainha, a Maia e a Palidina saem do grupo. Opa, hein? E essa magia aqui? O louco muito forte, mano. Bárbaro investe contra qualquer um que ele golpeie com acerto crítico de combate corpo a corpo, desferindo um ataque completo contra ele. Um contra-ataque quando tem um, um, um acerto crítico. Eu poderia fazer isso aqui, ó. Abalado... Aí fica forte, hein? 
Uma, duas... Tem mais um nível? Não tem, eu acho, viu? Não, tem mais um. Mas eu acho que vou pegar, ó, essa aqui. Tem mais um que é nível 20, né? É aqui pra ele... Ah, ele já é nível 20, ó. Pega o tornado também que é roubado, vai que se dane. <risos> né? Mais uma arma? Ah, mano, não sei, cara. Você nem usa isso aí. Qualquer coisa. O Kaizo. We are actually going to Ukaizo. The tribes will look to me to bridge our past and our future. A heavy responsibility, I say. The praise they showered on Ngati's chosen. Until now, it all seemed an empty gesture. Never a promise that I could fulfill. I was the toast of Nekataka. But all of that is behind me. I must turn away from delights and think of the tribes. Ukaizo will show us the way. The tribes will find themselves again. I would discover what our ancestors forgot. The covenant is more important than ever. As tribos unidas, mas vulneráveis. O Kaizo pode torná-las forte novamente. Aprenda o que você puder sobre o Kaizo, mas deixe que as tribos encontrem o próprio caminho. O futuro dos Ruanas está nas mãos das dos Mataros. Tenha fé nisso. I will give it thought. There is time enough for that, at least. Ukaizo should be the discovery of our lifetime. With the trading companies and the Principi ready to descend on each other, I wish the island had kept its secrets a while longer. There is much to consider, and little time to decide our course. I fear that we will see the path before us before we are ready to walk it. I'm here. Bem, é, forge alianças. Construir um casco que consiga atravessar a sede de companhia. Mas já? Bem, sai daqui. A governanta gostaria de falar com você no convés do seu navio. É, agora são decisões finais, né? A gente vai fazer o seguinte, na próxima gameplay, tem essa parte aqui pra gente ver. Será que o Kaizo é aqui? Não, não tem nada a ver. É... Vamos fazer a missão da expansão aqui, primeiro? Na próxima gameplay? Certo? Descanso do exilado. Ah, sim, aqui eu marquei. Bem, por esse vídeo então é isso, galera. Deixa um gostei que ajuda muito e até o próximo. Valeu!